David Wiggins. Uh, right now, you're looking at my backyard, and today we're going to go over my practice routines that I'll do during the week and even daily. Um, as you can see, I got several baskets around. These are all from my junior world titles, and um, I have several stations that I putt from so I can practice uphill putts, downhill putts, and uh, in all different distances. So I'll start, I guess, going around and um, showing you how I practice putting and where I like to putt. All right, this is the first putting station that I have. It's about 30 feet, and it's probably the most important putt you're going to see out on the course because, especially in the pro division, these putts are critical, anything 30 feet and under. making sure you're doing the same exact thing to develop uh, muscle memory because if you're not practicing like you play then there's no real advantage to practicing. A lot of people they like to hold their putters in their hand when they're practicing but they don't do it while they're actually playing so I'd say if you're gonna hold your putters in your hand while you're putting and practicing you might as well do it in tournaments in competitive rounds because it's all about how you feel when you walk up to that putt. If it feels familiar, you're going to have a better chance of making it. You don't want to putt to the point to where your arm gets fatigued because then you start to throw off your form and um, you really have trouble being consistent with your putt. So I, I putt for around maybe 30 minutes until I can start you know, feeling a little strain in my arm and then I give it a rest and wait until the next day to practice putting. All right, now we're out here at uh, Johnson Street Disc Golf Course in High Point, North Carolina. This is my home course and I probably come out here three, four times a week just to practice. Um, as far as practice goes out on a course, I normally don't play 18 holes. I like to pick certain holes that I feel um, have lines and shots that I want to practice. And I'll throw maybe 10 shots on each hole, uh, various backhands and sidearms just to work on that particular shot. Um, right here we got about a 300 foot, slightly Anheuser, pretty open hole. And I like to throw you know, a few shots here, a couple backhands, a couple sidearms. A lot of people wonder how I am able to throw so far even though this course is pretty short. I'm throwing putters on almost every tee pad. And that's a really good question because I think it's since I started so young I had to throw hard to reach the holes and that's how I kind of developed my form. But it's really helped me develop accuracy with my distance because I can throw putters on you know 300 foot holes accurately. All right, this is hole number two. One of my favorite holes to practice because it's just a dead straight shot. Now we're here over at uh, Rush, there's a gym that I like to go to. I started coming here uh, about a month or two ago trying to work on strength training. Hopefully 
improve my distance this winter to uh, maybe see if I can go out there and do something other than tie my distance record again. Right. Um, I always like to start out stretching, whether it is before starting a workout or before a round. It helps keep you loose, and um, especially after working out, you want to loosen up those muscles to make sure you don't tighten up. to work on my core exercise, use my own body weight to work out instead of lifting big weights because I think bulking up would cause me to slow down and to gain distance I really want to work on go fast and lose muscles. All right, now I'm getting ready to do uh, some planking. It's good for core exercises, and uh, you really want to work out your core for disc golf because you know you're not using just strength from your arms; you're using your whole entire body. And when I throw a distance, my legs are the first things to get tired. My legs and my uh, lower lower abs and upper thighs. So that's one important thing that I figured I'd start working out this winter to help strengthen. Now we're out here in the field. Um, field practice is awesome. It helps you work on stuff that you know you might want to try out of the course, but you're worried about hitting trees or worried about getting in others' way. Um, it's one of my favorite places to come after a disc golf tournament that I figure I need to work on certain throws, and I can come out here and throw 20 shots um, with the same disc that I want to bring out here. I got a whole different bag of disc to bring out here than I carry on the course. Just for practicing specific shots and um, really dialing in my form. So uh, yeah, that's that's the main reason I come out to the field. I also do it to work on distance, but I'll also throw up shots, putter shots, and really work on all aspects of my game out here besides putting. <laughs> 